Wow. All right, what's going on, everybody? Matt here. We've got a big recruitment that just dropped. Jaden Davis, I'm, I'm, I'm watching it right now, has dropped his commitment, and he is, as you can see on the screen here, going to Michigan, a five-star quarterback committing to one John Harbaugh. Let's see what this does for Jaden Davis and the Michigan program. <laughs> All right, Jaden Davis. So let's let's take a look. Twenty twenty four quarterback, very very talented. Listed at six foot one ninety, and we're actually going to throw. I want to to play his highlights here right next to me as as we're kind of going through this so that you guys can can kind of just look at him. And right there, seventy two percent completion last year. North Carolina football. We're going to dive into all of his accomplishments here in a minute. Just kind of watch what he's able to do though. So. Listed at on three as the 105th player in the nation, QB8 as a four-star currently. 24-7 Sports is uh, one of two services that has him as a five-star. He is a 28th player in the nation, second quarterback, five-star. Rivals has him as the 10th player in the nation, third quarterback, five-star. And then ESPN has him as the third quarterback, 35th nationally ranked player, and a four-star. Diving into who Jaden Davis is. So last year in 2022, all right, it was two years ago, he had an incredible season, right? He he finished as the North Carolina's high school football of the year, the Mr. Football in the state. He followed that by earning player of the year honors from Max Preps. He was the high school football player of America. Plus, he won the offensive player of the year by a group of local sports writers released in North Carolina. He then followed that up with another Offensive Observer Player of the Year and then got the Gatorade National Player of the Year in North Carolina in 2023. So incredible, incredible season here. Why? Incredible, incredible season here for Jaden Davis, who, you know, again, incredible season overall uh, the past two years. And you, you saw it there at the beginning of the highlights with the stats that he was able to put up, specifically 72% completion percentage last year. That That is incredible. So what do I see when I look at him? I, I think he's got some of the best mechanics currently in the class. Now, he's still a junior. Stuff like that can get cleaned up. There's n no way of me saying he's a perfect prospect, but he is very good. Um, he has a very good arm, in my opinion, in the short intermediate area. While he can challenge all three levels of the field, I don't believe he's got like that high-end tier arm. He, he's not going to zip it 40 yards down the field on a line, but he can get it down there. Um, at, overall, although he did have the 72% completion percentage last year, he has a 63.5 completion percentage. Definitely could go up heading into his senior season. That is the one thing we have to take away from all this, right? He's, he, he just finished his junior season. He has a whole other season to jump up even more. But he was used a lot on RPOs, and his legs were used a little bit, which is exciting to see. In my opinion, he is a very accurate passer, and what I like about him, per honestly, is his pocket manipulation. He is very good in the pocket, does a really good job of playing within that, knowing when to bail out, and he can make throws on the run. He does a great job of processing. It seems like he really does a, well, a good job reading the field when he's in the pocket, almost always throwing to the right player. Now, sometimes those haven't always worked, as we mentioned with the completion percentage in his sophomore year, kind of dragging down the overall to the 63, but he did, again, improve in that in his junior year. He has shown some ability to layer throws over defenders, specifically in the middle of the field, which you also like those those linebackers kind of lurking in the middle of the field, and he zips it over them. Um, and again, does look comfortable rolling out of the pocket and throwing off balance. The big thing is going to be here again. I don't think he's got one of the strongest arms in this class, but I do think it's going to. It's more than fine. He he may not be up there with like a Dylan Rayola or a. You know, if you follow all of our stuff, Sam Levitt from last year, who, who had one of the strongest arms in our class, he is going to have a good arm. It is above average, and I do think that will work well in the Michigan program. We know, and we've seen it outside of that Ohio State game where they def definitely challenged down the field and, and burned Ohio State massively multiple times. They don't always do that. It's a lot of short area stuff. They like a guy who can distribute the ball and make the routine plays routinely. That's just Jim Harbaugh and his offense, and I definitely think Jaden Davis can do that. 
And I think he has a shot to start in his sophomore season. J.J. McCarthy likely gone. I'm sorry, his freshman season. J.J. McCarthy likely gone after this year. Maybe he sticks around one more year, but I personally don't see Alex Orgy, who's really the only other younger quarterback on that Michigan roster, challenging Jaden Davis. I do believe Davis is better. So we could see Davis as early as his freshman season. If J.J. McCarthy maybe doesn't get the draft capital reports back that he thinks he comes back for senior year, so then you see Davis in year two. But overall, at least in my opinion, this is a massive, massive win for Jim Harbaugh and the Michigan program. He has failed to get Dante Moore. It looked like he was not going to get Underwood in the 2025 class, but he lands currently a top quarterback in the 2024 class in Jaden Davis. He is actually my QB3 right now, and I have him graded at a 77.55. You know, that, to me, that puts him in the Tier 2. He would have been behind Dante Moore, Archer Malachi in last year's class, and a Sam Levitt, who's at Michigan State right now in the 2023 class. But again, that's just based off his junior film. If he has goes out there and has a great senior season he is a guy because I personally like those quarterbacks who are really good in the pocket and display what I want out of a quarterback not just the running but the mind and the arm that I think he could possibly jump up into that tier one so let me know what you guys think down in the comments but Michigan lands a massive prospect top end quarterback in the 2024 class Jaden Davis